What happens now is that mascara, Syrian flower, becomes what's called the master track, meaning um, that everything in the song browser below um, sort of uh, looks at the master track and says, um, am I harmonically compatible to uh, Syrian flower? Am I um, in the same key? Um, am I in a relative minor, relative major? That's what Mashup is doing under the hood. Um, so, and as you see these numbers here, the harmonic compatibility, um, we have a scale from 0 to 100. 100 meaning um, that song, let's say uh, this song from uh, Mad Lib uh, Lupac, Female Request Line, would be 96.58% harmonically compatible with Syrian Flower. Um, the same with uh, Forever Beef. Uh, and then going down, you see uh, it just keeps getting more dissonant. Um, and as a rule of thumb, but really it's up to you, um, I've just found that anything above 75% is pretty good. So let's just drag and drop something. Um, uh, let's see. Let's drag and drop another track and make a mashup. I'm going to use, oh, okay, I was using um, this before, CeeLo, because it's, what's really cool about this is we can really see um, how the time stretching algorithm uh, works. Because uh, the Syrian flower, I'll just play it for a second, is, a, is in a straight eighths type of feel, and um, the CeeLo child's play is in a triplet feel. So let me just play this for a second. Okay, so now you get a feel of that. And now let me drag and drop Child's Play and Solo. Bring it to the beginning. So you hear that triplet feel, right? So basically, um, they're gonna. Here's how they sound together. Um, and by the way, in this version, um, there's no return. The return button in. Um, in this version, um, the return button, which is usually um, the default button in most DAWs, um, does not go back to the beginning, but they say uh, that they are working on that. So let's go back to the beginning and let's see how they sound together. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. 